Hi, so you guys ready to go ahead and follow me? It's going to be a time lapse and it's going to be really, really fast. Um, I'm going to try to work as fast as I can. But this video, in reality, I think it's going to be about three to four hours. So I'm going to have to crunch it down to at least, I'm hoping, 10 minutes or so. But if not, it might go, you know, more time. But I'm going to be painting my wall, the sneak peek that I showed you guys, that lady in my wall. I sketched her out just using pencil and then now I will be using different kind of acrylics. Uh, acrylics I'm going to be using, you know, cheaper brands and stuff like that. In reality, I'm not going to be using anything expensive. Mainly I'm going to be using like folk art. I'm going to be using um, this brand. I'm going to be using this brand. And I'm going to be using this brand. And I'm going to be using this brand. Yes. Okay, guys. So I hope you guys enjoy the process. Um, in no way do I have any idea what this is going to turn out like. Um, it could go very well. It could go very bad. But that's the whole idea for me to share with you guys and then, you know, move forward. So... I'm going to go ahead and use different kind of colors for the hair. I'm going to be using four different kind of colors. Three are going to be just, you know, the darker, medium, and then a lighter. Once it dries out, I will add like a, like a smaller highlight, which is going to be the fourth color. For the skin, I'm going to go ahead and just play along with it and see where it takes. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and add a little top hat. And um, it's not a beret. It might look like a beret because I did see the sketch and it kind of does look like a beret, but it's not. So I will go ahead and paint it and then the only downfall with this is just that I actually did the, like the face too high and it was supposed to be a little bit lower so I could have added the little top hat and then added stuff coming out of it. But I'm going to have to work with it and then figure out where we're going to go from there. So um, I definitely will not be talking in the video. Because I will be doing like a, a fast mode. Like I said, I'm sure you guys don't want to be checking out the stuff with me for like three, four hours, right? And I will be doing it in sections. So you might see me wearing different clothes because um, I will be starting and then I will be leaving. And then I will be starting, leaving, starting. So as I work. Um... Alright guys. I hope you guys enjoy the process because this is going to be fun. I can't wait. I've been wanting to do this so bad. I've been wanting to start this uh, mural on my wall and I just delayed it, delayed it and finally, finally! Alright guys.
on stuff when I have it in a little small frame to see what I want to do and then I can work my way up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and tape it to my glass and then work, work from there. her hair and do different things. I just wasn't very happy with the whole look. So going with markers and paints and stuff like that, I'll be able to do it. Right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and use some markers.
So what I'm gonna do right now, it's um because she's beautiful already, but we're gonna go ahead and put some quick bronzer on her face, and I'm just gonna be using some sheer cover bronze bronzer, and this is makeup. And if you can make um spritz or sprays with this, like homemade elements, you can definitely put it on your art and it will stick. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it on like a bronzer, like I'm doing makeup. Let's get started. super super awesome again for the contouring I use the sheer cover this is just a a highlighter it's sheer cover it's a lip to lid highlighter it's a makeup one but this actually expired so I wasn't going to be using it for my face and if you have this kind of stuff you can add some alcohol and make some beautiful sprays for it but I just really, really love the bronzer just for my art because I can do it for my journal and everything else. But the stuff that I used, I used a different amount of different stuff. I used acrylic paints. I used several Distress inks. I used uh, the Tim Holtz Distress inks. And then I used a lot of Memento, these little guys. And that's what I use a, a different amount of um, colors. And the stencil that I used today for all the little flowers and everything else, I think it was it would go perfect was this. And this is the Mini Flying Bird Doily. And this is by TCW. And I really love this. I love using it and incorporating it. So I hope you really guys really like what I did. I really am in love with it. And I'm glad that the turnout was like this. It was quite the journey. I did have my ups and downs with it. And um, at first, you guys will see the progress because I'm going to attach the pictures. Some of them just were ridiculous. Like, some of them were right. When I started, the eye was bigger on the left side was bigger. And then, you know, it just, it just took a lot of tweaking and everything else. It took a lot of hours of dirty work and fingers. But... I'm finally done and I used a mixture of different brushes so if you guys have any questions just let me know and the quote that I did use was by Anne Frank I really um, admire this quote and I've always told my kids about this quote just because we always say you have to stop thinking negative stop thinking about the ugly stuff stop thinking about everything else and think of what we all have and be grateful for it and so this came close 
It says, I don't think of all the misery, but of all the beauty that still remains. And that is by Anne Frank. And I thought it was beautiful just because of the peacock. I think it's a beautiful bird and I just totally, totally love them. So I hope you guys like it. If you guys have any questions, like I said, or any comments, then I'll be more than happy to answer them. Just leave a comment down below. All right, guys.